the European Union in Second Life. These days, even Brussels, capital of the European Union, wants to set up a representative office in the virtual world of Second Life. The EU is trying to improve its PR with the citizens of the European Union. This is probably the result of the latest figures released by the operator of Second Life, Linden Lab. According to them, over 54% of the over 4.5 million Second Life inhabitants are European. Partner stock exchange Noi.de on its own island in Second Life. After creating FriendScout24.de, the online single community Noi.de has now also opened a drop-in center in Second Life. Noi.de members who register with Second Life start directly on Noi.de island. Here, everybody has access to a community area, an open-air cinema, a comfortable lounge, and a disco. Experienced avatars provide advice and everything you need to know about flirting and falling in love. Back to the past. So you still don't know what to do this weekend? How about a short visit to ancient Rome? Just put on an historical costume and do some shopping on the ancient Roman lanes, or watch gladiators do battle, or just meet some interesting people. But don't forget to watch out for the lions. Large train station in Fracture on Amo Island. Real life DJ Mr. Widget from Los Angeles called, and the party people didn't pass up the chance to dance. At the beginning, hot chicks and totally whacked out party freaks. Looking forward to seeing where Widget strikes next. Keep your eyes and ears open. New worlds are created every day in Second Life, and none of these worlds look the same. Their owners and builders are free to do as they please. They don't have to stick to any rules or laws of engineering or functionality, and they don't have any deadlines either. The Austrian designer, Stefan Dusinke, recently created the first Second Life Architecture and Design Awards. He's looking for the most interesting and aesthetically unique building projects. Our reporter, Anne Maria Congrejo, met with the unconventional architect whose Second Life avatar is a woman named Dosi Beck. Designing and building in a matter of minutes. No bureaucracy, no borders. It's what every architect dreams of. Second Life is ready for the buildings of the future. Everything is possible here. The only limits you have are in your own mind and creative fantasies. But if you take a look around in Second Life, you can't help but get the impression that the design you see here is pretty much the same as in the real world. Dersey Beck disagrees. I've already seen a couple of things where gravity didn't matter. This is really interesting because in Second Life you can fly and you can teleport yourself. It gives everything a completely different sense of physicality. What really interests me is the relationship to real architecture. I love the concept of cross-reality architecture, which is also the working title of my book. And this reversal, so to speak, from the real world to virtual architecture, it's one of those topics where I think both sides will meet. Dersey Beck dreams of removing the separation of real and virtual worlds of design, experimentation in Second Life, implementation in the real world. What are the basic concepts behind design? Why is one house like this and another like that? Second Life offers us a great place to experiment, a place where we can find out what this self-designed world looks like, this world in which we want to feel at home. The awards are to be given out in the categories of landscape design, utopia and design, entertainment architecture and private homes. A jury made up of international designers and architects will choose the most unconventional space utopias. The winners will then be put on display in a new Second Life Hall of Fame. Do you think it will ever be possible to put these virtual concepts into practice in the real world? If the demand is there, it will probably be possible to bring the two together. I'm not sure yet in which form, though. It would be very exciting to be able to convert virtual architectural concepts into reality. The competition is open to all. For more information, visit www.sl-award.com.
Do you have a special dream? In Second Life, that dream can become a reality. How about cruising down the highway on an original American hot rod? In Second Life, Sturgis is the place to be for all Chopper fans. This is where all the tough guys come to meet with their Harley Davidsons. And wherever there are guys with cool bikes and wicked tattoos, fine-looking women can't be too far. Our reporter, Larry Kungler, got to have a real Harley Davidson experience, up close and personal. Ah, I feel good. Sturgis, a few mountains, an old saloon city, and a main street. Everything just like in the good old days. The most important meeting place is an old gas station with the bonfire next to it where the bikers relax after their long ride. So good. I got you. A real biker needs three things. A shiny chrome bike, hot babes, and a cold beer. Anyone who really wants to stand out here needs to rev his engine as loud as possible. This is music to bikers' ears. For those of you who don't have a bike yet, Sturgis offers a wide variety of choices with the appropriate music for free. Biker buddies like to talk shop. Harry explains that he visits Sturgis twice a week. He's already bought a bike and got to know some nice ladies. It's hard to decide which bike to buy. At least he can try them all out for free. But 2,000 Linden dollars are just too much for me to spend. Here's a tip, HD's custom cycles on Siren's Grotto. The bikes are less expensive here, and there's a huge selection. Right away I noticed the trike in the corner for 800 Linden dollars. I just gotta have it. I pay really quick and get back to Sturgis. Now the only thing I'm interested in is learning how to drive. Okay, step by step. Use the arrow keys to set the direction. Hold the up button down to burn out your wheels. <laughs> what a rush! Cruising down the highway with no worries about the cops or any radar guns. This is a dream come true. What an amazing feeling! That was this week's edition of Life For You. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time in the Life For You studios. Until then, I'm Christoph Broom. And I'm Kira Singh. Here's wishing you all a great, great second, second life. life.